gentlemen, but I just give a warm welcome to Sheriff Jim DeWeese. So I, I, am a, I am a fellow that rarely ever needs notes to speak. I usually just start speaking off the top of my head, and my wife cringes at times when I do that. So I, I did write a, a handful of notes down, and I do consider it an absolute honor and privilege not only to stand up and, and introduce April, but when, when I'm asked to do that for, for any um, of, the, of the folks that, that uh, are running for public office or that are that are public officials, I, I think it's an honor to be able to do that. And, and so um, with April, and, and, and Justin says it correctly, I mean, I'm, I'm down in Annapolis regularly along with other sheriffs, and, and why do you see the sheriffs down in Annapolis? Because we're one of the only few um, in law enforcement that truly has a voice. Because there are a number of police chiefs, I promise you, around the, the state that feel exactly the way I do, but their voices are really muffled because they work for folks that uh, don't want them to come down and speak on behalf of law enforcement. So that's why when the sheriffs come down, there's always a group that cringes when they see us, but not my constituency, not my folks that are down in Annapolis and, and, and the senator and the delegates. In fact, um, I've become so close with them. I've taken over Haven's office down in Annapolis <laughs> and regularly have to, to kick him and April out so I can do business down it's very there. Safe there though, it's very safe in there. It's very safe in there. And so, um, but with, with April, um, it's kind of interesting because April sits on a number of committees that are very key to the things that happen with um, law enforcement. One of the, the bigger issues is uh, school safety and, and April for a number of years, and I think you still sit on the, the subcommittee for education. And so one of the things that was uh, uh, really, um, I guess, thrusted in 2018 was we need SROs in schools. We need more school safety. We need more school safety. And that was... Uh, a, a drum that was beat and it was easy to get on and it was a bipartisan issue and so it was funded and uh, April and the rest of the delegation fought to make sure that I had funding to put SROs in our schools and we did uh, along with the commissioners we put SROs in virtually every school we have them in every high school middle school and they function throughout the elementary schools and it's a very popular program now bring on 2020 and 2021 then what happens now we got to get rid of SROs out of our schools Cops are horrible. And so my delegation is like, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, what are you saying? What are you thinking? And so April, Haven, Susan, Justin, they made sure that we fought to keep local control over whether SROs stay in our schools or not. And that was extremely important to me because it is an outstanding program and works very, very well in our schools. So um, April's not only a, a, a friend of law enforcement, we know that. Um, she's also a friend of small business and during the pandemic it was not uncommon for me to get a call from April saying uh, the state's going in to shut down this business this small business this restaurant these locations why are they targeting these places I would get the same calls from from Susan and Haven and Justin and as their sheriff um, it was my obligation and my responsibility to step in and say well hold on is this overreaching and so before anything could be done, when it comes to local health officers to shut businesses down, I will mention the local health officer's name. He is a pretty decent guy, um, but he was gonna go into stables on a Friday night and say, you guys are shut down. Now, I didn't wanna get his ass kicked or I would have just let him go in and try and do that. Um, but I stopped him from doing that and said, no, 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 I know the owner of stables, we'll communicate with him um, on Saturday and we'll mitigate this so that he can continue to function. And so I regularly got calls about small businesses to make sure that their interests were protected um, throughout, throughout the pandemic. And so, um, you know, I, I, I've said this before, and some of you may have heard this, and, uh, you know, th there were 17 shootings in Baltimore City over the last two days. Um, I mean, it's an absolute war zone in, 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 that, in that city. And, and we're only a stone's throw from that that location. And um, I liken it sometimes to, I, 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 I talk to groups and I'm like, look, there's a, uh, in Mexico, there's Juarez, Mexico, one of the murder capitals of the world. A annually a thousand murders, but only a handful of miles across the Rio Grande is El Paso, Texas, one of the safest big cities in the United States. Why? Why is it that way? Because it has strong law enforcement, federal, state, and local protecting its borders and protecting its people. 
why is Carroll County one of the, if not, it is the safest in the county or in the state, but maybe even east of the Mississippi? Because we have strong law enforcement and we're only a handful of miles from where 17 shootings take place on a regular basis. Murders, 300. But yet in Carroll County, it's safe. Why is that? Because we have strong law enforcement, but we have strong support for law enforcement from our folks that go to Annapolis, from our local officials, and it's extremely important that we have that. And I, and I say this, and I'm not, I'm not shy about saying this, I promise you that the wolf is at the door of our county. And the wolf wants to bring crime, and the wolf wants to teach your kids in public schools and your grandkids in public schools. And it takes a, a strong team uh, to, to keep that from happening. And, and so for me, um, I'm proud to endorse uh, April and and um, and I go down a long list of, of folks that are endorsing April the local fraternal order of police the local international association of firefighters my wife the clerk of the of the court our future state's attorney Haven shoemaker and 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 me the sheriff and obviously all of you so for me it's a privilege to stand up here and support April and endorse her and so with that I will introduce delegate April Rhodes.